name is Erin Garilla. And I'm Victoria Russell. And we're pleased to be here today to implement the Alberta Crops Sustainability Certification Pilot Project. This project will see 40 farmers from all four crop commissions across the province of Alberta participate in on-farm assessments similar in nature to those who would seek certification in four major internationally recognized sustainability certification programs. To do this, we've enlisted the help of auditors from Control Union. They will facilitate the on-farm assessment process, identify highlights, as well as any gaps that may need to be addressed. This project will allow farmers to gain social license with consumers, as well as determine their readiness in relation to four largely consumer-driven programs. Farmers want to be able to understand how these programs impact their on-farm methods. This project will allow farmers to be able to tell their own story and be able to define what sustainable agriculture means in Canada today. So join Victoria and I as we spend the morning here in Bentley, Alberta with Jason Lenz, Vice Chair of Alberta Barley, and then we'll travel south to Carmen Gay, Alberta, home of Kevin Oak, Vice Chair of the Alberta Wheat Commission. We'll observe the auditors from Control Union with their on-farm assessments, and then we'll learn more about what sustainability means to Kevin and Jason, and how they apply their concept to their on-farm operations each and every day. My name's Doug, and um, Control Union is the company that I, that I work for, and we were uh, hired on by the commissions Alberta Wheat and Barley, Canola Commission, and the Pulse Commission. The background on this is we're looking at four different sustainability initiatives. We like to call this an assessment to determine uh, if your practices would be uh, deemed sustainable as per the definition of these standards. So maybe we'd start with a farm tour, go around, walk me through everything. Sure, yeah, we can do that. My dad built these tanks with the stands back in the boat. I don't know, 1970 or so, it's, they're, they're quite old. Our main tank is this new one here that's a double wall up to spec tank. And these are the double wall tanks, right? Yeah, they're both double walled, so you know, if there ever was a leak, it's all self-contained in the outside compartment of the, of the walls. These the nozzles are all automatic nozzles and that type of thing, so it's uh, a lot safer for the environment. Sure. What year did you put these in? Uh, these went in uh, be three years ago this summer. And that was done through the Environmental Farm Plan, I see? Yeah, that's the, one of the advantages of the Environmental Farm Plan. They had a real good cost-sharing program. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we took advantage of that. Great, looks good. My sprayer is stored in this uh, shed here. This is the sprayer that we use. This is where all the chemical will get entered into the sprayer. So this is pretty much in the process. This is the one time where the chemical, you're exposed to, exactly. to the chemical. Yeah. Is this one of the sprayers with the sectional controlled booms? Yeah. Yep. Sectional controlled booms, height control. Another part of that continuous improvement is sure. um, looking for better ways to be more accurate, a little safer for the environment. We've kind of made the next step as far as uh, fertilizing our fields. We're going to a variable rate method. It's based on your uh, many more soil uh, samples that we take within our fields, as well as the yield data from the past uh, number of years. It's really just the next step in, in becoming, maybe becoming more efficient and, and uh, with efficiency, there's sustainability as well. So this is how we, we can avoid cultivation because we kill our, all our weeds with this, right? We don't, uh, we don't till that ground anymore. And do you need to, to calibrate the application itself? Oh yeah. Well, tillage is uh, when a farmer will use a machine to uh, kill weeds. We don't till our soil. We preserve the integrity of the soil by not tilling and putting the seed directly into the ground. Fertilizer gets dropped down here and then the seed gets pushed out this hole here and it's all done with air. And then the whole thing gets packed down with the packer after. You said the distance between the, the fertilizer and the seed is? About an inch. Okay. Uh, yeah, about an inch. What jumps out to me is that there's a ladder on each hopper. Instead of having a ladder and then moving it to each one yeah. is definitely a, uh, yeah. uh, you know improvement in safety. Yeah. Yeah. And even on our big bins, uh, we've got ladder, exterior ladders and all of them. Lid openers too, there's a, a rope or a cable coming down from each one so you don't have to climb up there to yeah. open it up. So we're trying to not just maintain the quality, we're trying to, to improve the quality of our land by doing some of these new beneficial management practices such as variable rate fertilizer, having lots of crop rotations and uh, you know just really caring for the soil and making it better than making it better today than what it was yesterday. This is the Little Bow River. That down there is my pump structure. So that's where my pumps are to for my irrigation. So all your water would come in through there. Yep.
I think it's important to leave something here for the next generation. Farmers in general and some of us that are involved in the commissions uh, see it as a real opportunity and a priority for us to make sure we are proactive with um, the sustainability issues that are coming our way. Thanks yep. for coming out. It's yeah, nice to nice meet you. you. Yep. Yep.